hey guys welcome back to my channel um today i am trying some new makeup i finally went and bought some i'm sorry if it's really dark behind me the sun is actually going down and setting and it gets really dark behind me and it's just the kitchen and the living room i mean you're all not missing anything so but anyway so so far i've done my moisturizer my primer my foundation and i did end up using a little bit of the tarte shape tape concealer today because I have got some breakout spots. I've got some really bad breakout spots, so I did just kind of use um, some concealer just to help with those breakout spots. So I just got a few new, like three new products that I really want to try. One is the Becca Under Eye Brightening Corrector. I've never tried this. I wanted to try this really bad, and I finally picked it up and purchased it. The next, I've been wanting to try these forever. I think this is the cutest thing ever. It's the Beauty Bento Kaija. Kaija? I don't know how you pronounce it. It's right there. I don't know how you pronounce that. Excuse my nails also because I got this new nail polish from LA Colors and I put it on. And in like not even 30 minutes, every single nail got ruined. So I don't know what happened there, but whatever. Um, and then the next product that I'm going to try today, I already took all these out by the way if you didn't notice, is the Peter Thomas Roth Lashes to Die For Mascara. I hoot and rave about the um, their primer, so I'm hoping I really like the mascara. I didn't even realize they had a mascara or the CC cream. I think it's the CC cream. I didn't even know they had the CC cream. I was actually going to get the CC cream, but their lightest shade is way too dark for me so i didn't get it but hey whatever i guess so anyway let's get into this so i'm gonna go in with the becca i'm ready to go in with this one right now so we're gonna do this really quick it's brand new not been touched let me get my brush okay so the brush that i'm gonna use is just the concealer buffer uh, these are the zova z-o-e-v-a don't know if i'm pronouncing it right 142 this came in a set i got the light to medium so we'll see how i like this Ooh, it's really pink Mom, huh. have you seen Colin's i've not seen it This stuff is really thick, too. So I'm just going to put it on with this brush, and then I've got the little baby beauty blenders that I will blend it out with. And I'm just going to kind of put this everywhere that I want my face to be a little bit brighter. why this is like super thick anyway so I'm just gonna take the little baby beauty blender and just blend all of this out really good hmm. what did you say I have no idea if you want to take the phone and try to look it up Go for it. But says it's offline. Okay, well, I don't know what he's going to do. He won't. Last time he had it, it was on girl's bed. Really? Yeah. Because I told him to catch it so it wouldn't fall down between the bed. So it blended out really nicely. It definitely looks like it's it's got my under eyes brighter. Let me set it with some powder before everything starts creasing really bad. Um, I'm gonna use my hourglass. I 
feel like what would really help is if I had a brightening powder as well. Because I feel like what's the point of doing a like pink brightening um what am I trying to say? A pink brightening concealer if if I'm not going to use like a pink brightening powder. Hello. So there is that, which I actually have the hourglass brush that goes with this powder, but I just, I like the beauty blender. So that part is done. So I guess I kind of like the Becca cosmetics um under eye brightener I mean I feel like the Maybelline is just as good it's just not as thick um I know a lot of people hoot and holler and rave about that but I didn't just see anything I mean every time I turn around, somebody's like, oh my god, get the Becca. I could have lived without it, just saying, I'm sorry. I could have lived without it. I could have just stayed stuck with my Maybelline Brightening Concealer, and Benji is happy. I don't like to take makeup back once I've used it. Sometimes I will if I'm just really pissed off with it, but... Okay, so I've finally finished the rest of my eyes. Um, my brows look so... I don't know. <laughs> anyway, so I didn't tell you what the bento thing was, but I guess I was assuming everyone knew. These are the little eyeshadow bentos. So they have like three eyeshadows to them, and they're just stacked on top of each other. Like that. So, um, we're going to use these today. I already went ahead with my Soft Glam Anastasia Beverly Hills in Put Tempera. I think is how you pronounce it, that white shade on just for a base because if you all watch my other videos you know I ha always like having a base color on but I realized that after I had bought them and got them home I'm like you know what these are all shimmers so I might need to use like a, some more colors just to kind of do something else with my eyeballs and <laughs> just like a shimmery color so I'm actually going to go in with this Milani Bella Cafe matte and matte eyeshadow is what it says just a brown like that um I don't know if I've ever used this and I'm just gonna go in with like in the crease of my eyeballs Ooh, that's a lot I'm gonna bring up as far as I can to my brow bone in the crease like so. So that's how I'm doing that. It's a really pretty brown. Oh, I've had this color brown around a lot. I never use it. I really like it. It's like that perfect, like soft brown color. Love it. It's a cool. Um, I will tell you this. These are not that pigmented. I will show you in just a second. Ooh, those are really not that. I mean, it picked up better on my finger than it did. I feel like there. Like the light, yeah, is hitting it a little bit. But I feel like it looks better on my finger. <laughs> I don't know. Um I don't know, let's just try these out. I'll just talk I'll just start with the top one and we'll go from there. So I'm gonna start with the first one. Which is does it tell me? I don't know if it tell me. They don't tell me. Where's the box? Painting with the box. Oh here it is. Is it? Yeah. 
Okay, so the first color is called Sandy Peach. The second color is Sun Kissed Tan. The third color is Baked Cinnamon. Right? Yeah. Wait, is there four colors? Because it says Orange Blossom. Or is that just the name of the whole entire thing? Oh, maybe Orange Blossom's the name of the whole entire thing. I don't know. There's only three colors, right? Two, three. Okay, yeah. So this whole little set is the orange blossom one, and I just read off the names of these. Okay, cool. Um, so since I'm gonna do the first one, I'm just gonna go in with this burnt orange from Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette, and just put it kind of on the um, outer corner. Okay. So, like I said, we're going to go in with this first one, which is called Sandy Peach. So, let's just see what we can get. Maybe it'll be better on Ooh. the brush. You know how it's called Sandy Peach? Hmm. Maybe it's from a beach. Maybe. You know how that rhymes? Yeah. Oh my gosh, you guys. Yes. That went on my eyelids so much better. Oh my gosh. Yes. Can you all see that? I know you're all not up really, really close to my eyes, but hopefully you all can see that. That's really pretty. I was worried. I was like, there's no way they're not that pigmented or there's no way that they're not going to be pigmented. When I swatched it, it was like nothing there. So I got really scared. But that's super pretty. Because I've never tried these and I've, I've wanted to since they came out. I thought they were the cutest things ever. So I'm actually going to go in with the second color. I just, I'm curious to see. Whoa, that's really orange. I should have done it vice versa, I do believe. Super orange. That's okay though. Yeah, oh, I love it though. Holy cow. Yeah, definitely so much more pigmented on the brush. Or using a brush. Do you want to see the orange in the inner corner? Is that not the prettiest? Awesome. Okay, so so the next thing is just the mascara. So I'm gonna finish my eye because I'm gonna do a black liner. Let me just do a liner and I'll come right back. Okay. Okay, you guys, so I finally finished the liner. I did a black liner on top and like a really dark brown on the bottom just because I didn't want the bottom lash to be too, too dark. But yeah, I like how it turned out. So anyway, I'm going to curl my lashes on camera and then we're going to go on with our new mascara and see that way you all get like first impression whether or not I'm liking it or not, I guess. It's Oh my god, make my eyes water. Okay, so let's just go in with this because my eyes are starting to water. This has a six month shelf life. Oh no, no, no. Okay, so this is what the brush looks like. Really skinny. I'm not a big fan of these, these brush bristles. I will say this, that brush separated my lashes beautifully i will say that um i just feel like the thicker brushes give you more product so i guess what i'm trying to say is i would like to use something a uh, mascara with the big bristles first to get like a lot of product on my lashes and then go in with this to separate all the lashes Because 
these type of bristles doesn't put a lot of product on your lashes but separated them really pretty so you all are probably not going to be able to see them i don't have big long voluptuous lashes my lashes are not short but they're like medium length they're not long and pretty but hence the reason why either i go get my lashes done or go get lash extensions or i wear fake lashes which i wear fake lashes but y'all see if I look down it's really pretty that's the second coating I try to get as close to my lot like the lash lines I can I still didn't get all the way there but I'm afraid I'm gonna jab my eyeball so let me put some lipstick on this is the Becca Cosmetics um, Chloe and Malika's um, um, collaboration with Becca Cosmetics. I tried this one once before and I did not like it on me, but I'm going to try it again. We'll see. Yeah, I don't know what it is about this color, but I don't really like this color on me. Let me put a um, NYX Butter Gloss over it. Still not doing anything for me, so I don't like this color. We're gonna start over. Perfect. I think this is the color Blankety by MAC. Yep. Perfect color. Anyway guys, so that is it for this video. That was all the new items I bought. Just the three. I know it wasn't a lot, but um <clears throat> That is it, you guys. So, like I was saying about the Becca, I could have lived without this. I don't know why people even hoot, holler, and rave about it. No offense, Becca. No offense to everyone who does. Maybe it did great for you. I didn't. I don't really care for it. Um, these are super pretty. Very pigmented. Love them with a brush. Ooh. And this is, this is okay. Um, could I live without this? Probably. Um, like I said, it separated my lashes really nicely. But other than that, I mean like any other mascara i guess but yeah you guys so anyway like i was saying i could probably live without this mascara as well but it was nice to at least try it i am gonna keep it i'm not gonna get rid of it um leave me a comment down below what you like what you don't like again behind me there's no lighting it's my living room and kitchen that's why it's dark behind there so i hope you all will be okay with it being black behind me um just exaggerates my face a little bit better and we got a phone call so i'll talk to you guys later bye Thanks,